Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a very simple casual makeup tutorial that I do every day. But either way, this is not the point. Me getting ready is one thing, but the other thing is actually me telling you guys the story of what happened today. While I get ready, I will be sharing a story about communicating with my dog that just passed away last week. And rest in peace, my baby darling Patch. Um, this is Patch. He is a sweetheart and I'm so sad that he's gone and I hope that he's resting very well in heaven and after today I feel like he is so I just wanted to um, give this video and tribute it to him. Also all proceeds from this video and all the money that I make from the ads or the monetizations for this video, although it may not be much, all the funds will be going to a animal shelter that I can find in Singapore or in Malaysia. So do let me know any of them below and yeah, let's get started. So what happened today was I actually had my first ever session with a animal communicator which in case a lot of people think I was also skeptical believe me I thought it was a scam and I was like there is no way we can communicate with animals let alone animals that have passed on but I have heard so much so so much about this it's basically like a animal whisperer in a way and I I guess it's somewhat like so you know how like sometimes when you go to like church or like stuff you have like prophecy meetings and people prophesize on you or like the opportunity for people to prophesy about your life and like about your future or like give you some insight I guess it's something like that it's a gift from God I guess animal communication uh, apparently they use something called animal telepathy um, I don't even know what that is I do know some twins that you know like um, twins like babies that were born and then they're like attached in the womb or something they have telepathy so they don't really have to tell anyone anything like tell each other anything and people understand so i guess that's what an animal communicator or animal communicator is but when my dog uh, patch passed away last week he passed away because i guess he died of old age and you know i wasn't around but truth be told i am quite a person who is like very in tune i believe with my feelings and emotions and i kind of had a gut feeling i remember telling titus that like you know, I, I think I should head back to Malaysia for a few days because like I do want to see Patch and I just don't feel like he has much time left. And Patch's birthday is apparently on Christmas. We actually um, never got to really know when his actual birthday is because Patch was a puppy that was passed down from my cousin when she moved, my cousin and my aunt when they moved to Australia. Um, anyway, I'm going to my cushion now. So we never really knew when his birthday was. So since I was young, like I just said his birthday is on Christmas. And Patch actually was supposed to turn 16 years old this year. So he's a big boy. He's a big, big boy, okay? And um, when he passed away, like my mom was sending videos the days before when we were on video call where he was like not able to walk and he was just like struggling to stand up even and that's when i kind of knew you know the time was coming but i didn't really know exactly why he couldn't stand up i just didn't know why um like you know maybe i guess old age that's the the most like common sense thing to think about uh, it all started off very natural i didn't want to be like okay here are my five questions blah 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 answer me now um i went in a way where i just wanted to hear what she had to say as well so she said once she connected with patch she wanted me to know that um, Patch said that I am his best friend and this is something that is with me and Patch I have been feeling a lot of guilt over the years because I haven't been home I was overseas studying and I had a new puppy as well so when I had a new puppy um, my parents dedicated a lot of more time to my baby puppy um, obviously I was crying and stuff and then I asked um, I wanted to know if you know he liked his life on earth and if he was happy or if there was anything that you know he wasn't very happy about i would like to know i just wanted to know if he was happy it wasn't to like you know suss out or like get information i just really wanted to know and and i even said to her i said could you let him know that if there was anything that you weren't happy about i'm sorry i couldn't be there i'm sorry i didn't spend enough time it was more because i wanted to tell him what i wanted to tell him and this is what she communicated with patch and she told me he was very happy and he felt very loved he felt he was treated like a boss. He does miss you a lot. Were you away for a long period of time? Bobby. She said there was a period of time he was feeling quite down and feels like that there was a time you were not around. He didn't feel like he was abandoned but he just misses you a lot. He missed you a lot when you were away. He wished that he had more time with you. 
Then she asked me, was his passing kind of sudden? He didn't seem very ready to go. The thing is, I never told her anything about Patch. All I did was send her a photo. And I was like, okay, wait. Because she suddenly mentioned his abdomen. And when Patch was younger, he actually went for some surgery for his abdomen. And um, the last time a vet came to our house, the vet said like, oh, the abdominal pain is a part of like, him aging or something so we didn't take him for an ultrasound and at this time I was texting my brother when this happened like when I was in the session with the animal communicator and my brother said that he also had a gut feeling to actually like call my parents the night before he passed to take him to a doctor and we, we didn't so I went on to the next question I asked about my other puppy which I have Kitty I said what about Kitty I always wanted to know if he got along well with her and she said and then she replied that he prefers to hang with humans more feels like he just kind of coexists with other doggies so she said do you want me to send could you send me a photo of cutie so that i could let her know that patch has passed on and i was like okay yes so i sent a photo of both of them and i also wanted to know another question which i asked which is what was his last thoughts when he passed was he in pain i really wanted to know that because i just wanted like um, if he was in pain, I just wanted to let him know that like I am here and I feel the pain with him um, And I miss him and then she said he was in a bit of a daze actually There was a pressing pain on the tummy and he felt a bit breathless and then she went back to like the cutie question the one before this and she said she's so cute She does miss patch and she does love patch. She says patch is nice to her but Patch says she is silly. I do feel that he puts up with her nonsense and tolerates her but he does find her a bit annoying he tolerates her nonsense and she looks up to Patch a lot. Cutie does love him a lot. Patch is her only friend. And I never even told her that, you know, like Cutie is a dog that doesn't like to mix with people. Because I replied this, ha ha ha, what a loser girl. Cutie is so cute. She said, yeah, she is a loser, but does she do zoomies? She says that she's very fast. So at this point, the animal communicator was talking to Cutie and Patch because she wanted to talk to Cutie to like, you know, tell Cutie that like Patch is no longer with us, he's in heaven. And the thing is like, all she saw was a photo of Cutie and she could say that she does zoomies. So I was pretty impressed by that. I was like, wait, what? I didn't even tell you anything about my dog. She also said, Patch was waiting for you. He hopes for you to know that he loves you so much. And then she said this, he asked you if you could forgive him for not being able to hang on till you come back. And when I read this, I was full on crying at, in the morning because I just felt like, no, please, I'm sorry, I couldn't come back. Um, you know, I really wish I could but due to my current circumstances I can't I said like you know I, I want Patch to know that I'm pregnant because the last time I saw Patch he wasn't I wasn't pregnant and I wanted to ask if Patch knew that I was pregnant and she said no he didn't know I was pregnant but he's very happy for you he's such a sweet boy he doesn't get jealous he would have been a great bigger brother to my little baby then I went to my next question this is where I wanted to test her because like Patch is a dog that only eats one treat his whole life, he only probably ate one treat. And this was his favorite treat. So he only ate this one treat his entire life. He has never ate any other treats. It was this X like dental chew. Specifically, it was a dental chew. It was not a dehydrated biscuit. It was none of the above. It was a dental chew. So I asked her, I said, um, I always wanted to know, Patch really never liked treats. But what was his favorite one? And when was his actual birthday? Because <laughs> I wanted to know when his birthday was. And she said, um, the image he shows me looks like a dental chew kind of treat. But he doesn't know his actual birthday. And then she said, by the way, he's actually such a sweet and sensible boy. I'm so sorry for your loss. Then I started crying again. Because I was like, wait, what? How did she know it's a dental chew? You know what I mean? She said the image that he's showing her is that. And I was like, okay, okay. I know a lot of you think I'm crazy because all this happened over WhatsApp but you know all those people that have tried animal communicators watching this, you guys know. You guys know what I'm talking about. I never ever ever believed in this but it did give me a sort of like comfort after that. Like I went back to sleep feeling much more comforted knowing that like you know Patch knows that I love him. Um, I was just wanting to share like this story because um, it was very hard for me when I lost Patch because I'm a person that really... I mean, I understand that pe people come and go, you know, animals pass on, um, people pass on, people leave your life, but for me, I never got to say goodbye. Like, I just want to say goodbye. Even when my previous dog, um, uh, baby passed away a few years ago, I never got to say goodbye. And again, now, here we go again, I'm not getting to say goodbye to Patch and that was very hard on me because 
especially patch like we had over a 16 year bond ish you know it, it, it's a long time but I was a child when I first met patch so it was very hard on me um, but I'm very grateful to try this animal communication experience I never thought I would to be honest it was never my cup of tea I always thought that it wasn't something that I was gonna do because I was a bit like skeptical but after this I do feel like this was something that I'm glad I did to at least have a peace of mind I guess I don't know what do you guys think um, I did my makeup I'm gonna go get my hair done and come back to you guys hello Charlie and Bobby hello okay so I just got my makeup done and my hair done I put in two bowls today because I haven't washed my hair Bobby and Charlie please but I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching my video please let me know below if you have ever tried an animal communicator and if you have ever you know wanted to ever know like what it's like to communicate with your dogs whether they passed on or whether they're still on earth or if you have any other video suggestions i hope my story time was not boring um yeah and i hope i didn't go in circles i always tend to do that so if i did please let me know but if you guys have any more video suggestions do let me know down below um thank you so much for watching remember to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll get a notification every time i post my next video is going to be pretty funny, so I hope you guys check that out. And thank you, we are so close to almost 10k subs, so I hope after this we'll be at 10k subs. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.